Solomon's Vegas Adventures. A cave with fossils that date back almost 12,000 years and with archaeological evidence of the first humans that inhabited the Las Vegas area? Sign me up for that. Welcome to another episode of Solomon's Vegas Adventures, and today we're going to be exploring the Gypsum Cave. Let's go. The Gypsum Cave is located about 15 miles east of Las Vegas, right off Lake Mead Boulevard on the way to Lake Mead, right off Pabco Road. And the Gypsum Cave is of particular archaeological interest because it had fossils dating back almost 11,000 years, particularly giant ground sloths and ancient Native American artifacts. It was first excavated in 1930, and since then, pretty much all of the archaeological remains of the cave have been depleted, but it's still an interesting place to go and spelunk. Now, geologically speaking, Gypsum Cave is actually pretty typical to other limestone caves and was formed in the same fashion that most other limestone caves are. So basically, hydrochloric acid, which is present in rainwater and groundwater, interacts with the calcium carbonate in the limestone and slowly dissolves it over time, opening holes and eventually caves along joints, faults, and other planes of weaknesses in the limestone. Gypsum Cave is pretty unique, though, in the fact that it's one of only a few gypsum caves around the world, the most famous being Cueva de los Cristales in Mexico, this one. Without further ado, though, let's see that cave. So getting to Gypsum Cave from town is pretty straightforward. You're just going to want to take Lake Mead Boulevard east, all the way east, out of town, past Frenchman Mountain, and you're going to want to take a left at Pabco Road where those small power lines are and then park where these giant power lines are. We have arrived here at the Gypsum Cave. So over there on the other side of those power lines, you see that, uh, that complex over there, that's the Pabco Gypsum Mine. And uh, they mine gypsum. So gypsum is basically used in like drywall and plastering and that kind of stuff. And it's pretty windy as you can tell, but the cave is up there in those hills. So we're going to go explore it. All right, guys. So visible right there is the backside of Frenchman Mountain. And then we've got Lava Butte over there. And then we've got the River Mountains, uh, the power lines. And then we've got You Bet and Angel. And then we've got a little bit of Lake Mead. You can kind of see Lake Mead peeking out. And then that's Mount Wilson in Arizona and Fortification Hill on the other side of the Colorado River. Then we pan over here. And you can see the Little Virgin Mountains there. And then behind the Pabco Gypsum Mine, that's Muddy Mountain. Basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this road to the base of these power lines, and then you're gonna turn left. All right, guys, so just a little background on the cave. It's a multi-room limestone cave, and it's pretty archeologically significant because they found fossils of ground sloths, early Native American uh, artifacts, and maybe even a mammoth. And you know, the interesting thing is, is that there are unexcavated areas of the cave. So maybe we'll find a giant mammoth tusk, guys. Who knows? All right, guys, we're about to get up to the cave. Please don't erase the traces of America's past. So as I was telling you guys, this cave is pretty archeologically significant. So don't take anything, just explore it. Um, and enjoy it. So that's what we plan on doing. We're not going to take anything. We're not going to vandalize it of any, any kind. And we just want to respect the land. So when you explore, when you have your own Vegas adventures, make sure you respect the land guys. So if you guys haven't noticed, this is like a real cave. Look down there. There is just it's a cave, guys. It's a cave. And there's a headstone down there. Ooh. All right, guys. I am ready to spelunk. I've got my uh, headlamp on. And we're going to take a look in this cave. Let's go. About to uh, go in. All right, guys. That'd be creepy. We going deeper in here. Smells, you know, like a fire. Well, guys, it seems like they don't call it Gypsum Cave for no reason. You know, we have found this. Is, these are some beautiful gypsum deposits here in the cave. Look at that. This cave is just filled with an abundance of gypsum. Guys, this, this place really opens up. It is huge down here. It, it's big. And you know what else? Like I was telling you guys, this the ceilings are just lined with crystals, with gypsum crystals. It's insane. Nice knowing you. Damn, guys. Enamored by these crystals. 
there's Aegis down there. And, uh, you know, you've just got in front of me. But this cave is, uh, it's pretty deep. This, this cave, you know, it, it gets a little bit scary because you really cannot see any light. Like, we are just down here. We are just and down it's, it's here. 10 in the morning. Yeah. So we've got an abandoned fire pit right here. What's behind there? And over there, it looks like we got some like satanic graffiti on the wall. <laughs> the candles. Oh my god, somebody was summoning a demon in here. Oh god. Look, Guys, little... it just yeah, It just keeps going. Look, these are little tea light candles. Wait, what's up? These are tea light candles. Look. These are the little oh, people be summoning stuff summoning in here. Look, right behind you. look at all these. Look at all these crystals look, too. Look these look gypsum this. crystals. Look at this. Whoa! Look at this. Look at this, Sully. Wow. So Gordy Cole right there. Wow. Talk about the <laughs> gypsum, bro. With this, there's so much gypsum in here. Look at that. Oh, dude, look I'm at that. Nice. Guys, look at look at all this gypsum, guys. I mean, you could you could literally just like take as much as you want from there. I'm not going to take any, but look at that. Look at this. No wonder they call this Gypsum Cave. Guys, this is like a geologist's, like, wet dream. Shit. There was a movie that said we are in a cat. We are what? In a cat. In a cat? Yeah, it's a cat. The fudge? All right, guys, the cave gets, like, really shallow over here. Like, the ceiling gets low. And it is hot up here. It's hot. Oh, that's because heat rises. We're in a higher spot. Yeah. You know, guys, areas like this just really get you thinking, thinking about life. You know, when you're all the way in the back of a huge cave, it's crazy, guys. It's crazy. I saw eyes! Run! Oh, Jesus. What? There is, I saw some eyes. All right, guys, so that was a pretty nice spelunking sesh down here at Gypsum Cave. So if you want to come to Gypsum Cave, just make sure not to take anything, not to not to ruin the archeological areas and uh, just to respect the land. Cause it is actually considered a significant site to the local Native Americans. So just respect it. Guys, the view from the entrance of the cave is just gorgeous. Look at that, you got a little view of Lake Mead. Got the mountains in the back, you know, more mountains over there, Lava Butte over there, back of Frenchman Mountain, and you can see all the way into Henderson. Nice views. All right, guys, so Christian over here found this really interesting amulet. It's uh, a Buddha, and it's filled with some sort of liquid. So uh, I wonder what that's all about. Thank you for watching, guys. As always, like, comment, and subscribe for more content. Peace.